What's going on guys, so is Curtis here on a walk right now because it's pretty nice outside. Today's video I'm going to be explaining to you all the trouble I went through just to put together this new game stick. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. So basically this video is supposed to be about me going through the process of dyeing, stringing, and putting together a whole new game stick during quarantine because there's nothing else to do. So. That was the plan, but uh, instead, this is kind of what happened. So I ordered all the supplies that I needed, got my head, dye, all that kind of stuff, and I originally planned on doing this at my restaurant because we're only doing like takeout and stuff right now, so it's not really being used. So I was just gonna do it in a, a big pot in the kitchen there, but that didn't work out, so I ended up getting a pot from my restaurant, bringing it back to my house, and planned on doing it there. So I had a specific design in mind that I wanted to do, but I thought it'd be pretty easy. I didn't think it'd be that complicated. So once I got home, I started dyeing up the head, set everything up, uh, put newspaper down all over my kitchen, made sure I took the proper precautions, and my dad was there to help me out a little bit. He helped me film, and we started to just go ahead and boil some water and start dyeing the head. But I initially planned on this video being kind of like a tutorial of how to do it, but based on the results, I don't think you'd want to learn from me how to dye a lacrosse head. So I'm just gonna kinda explain what happened. So I started boiling water, put the dye in, stirred it up a little bit, and figured I was ready to go. So I dyed the entire head blue, which was my first mistake. Finished that up, thought it looked really cool, got a nice blue color, took it out, rinsed it, cleaned it off, and figured it was time to put vinyl on. So I put the vinyl on, which took me like three tries, finally got it on with some transfer paper, and we figured it was time to dye the whole thing black. Poured the black dye into the pot, stirred it up, dipped the head in, left it in for a good two minutes, and was like, okay, it's not really turning black. Said, okay, I'll give it a couple more minutes. Five minutes goes by, barely turning black, and I knew I screwed up. So basically, moral of the story, the head did not turn black as I wanted it to. I ended up taking the vinyl off, revealing the blue underneath, and it looked pretty cool, but it just wasn't the vision I had in mind. So I was kind of mad and I wanted to redo it basically, which was pretty stupid to think of in the first place after going through that whole process. But here is my next plan. I ordered a new head, I ordered more dye, and I figured I'd give it another shot. Now, instead of dyeing the entire head blue first, I was just gonna put the vinyl on, then dye the whole thing black, and then just dip in the accents to make them blue. So, the head arrived, the dye came like five days later. Super pumped to get it started. I was like, all right, this is it, I'm gonna do it. It's gonna come out the way I want it. So, I boiled the water, I put the vinyl on, used the heat gun, made sure it was on there really nicely, and I poured the black dye in. And I put the head in, and guess what happened? It turned brown. What? And I was like, what is going on? Like, what am I doing wrong here? And then I messaged Lax Dip Dye on Instagram and was like, listen, like, what am I doing wrong? And he was like, you're not putting enough water in. Each packet needs at least two gallons of water. And I was like, all right, my little pot is not two gallons of water. So that's where I kind of went wrong to start. So attempt number three, I left the vinyl on, ordered more dye, and figured I would dye it black again, and it would cover the brown. This time, I used less dye, poured it in the pot, stirred it up, dipped the head in, but I took the head out, and it was just a darker brown. So three attempts later, and I still didn't get the result I wanted, so I just took the vinyl off, left it white, and now I was left with a blue head and a brown head, which I wasn't really happy about. All right, let's start to move because it's starting to rain. Moral of the story is, I was a little disappointed with how both of the heads came out and realized I should have done my research a little bit more. And I also realized I was not as experienced of a dyer as I thought I was. But you live and you learn. And this was kind of a uh, annoying experience, but I definitely learned from it. And if you guys want to try this at home, make sure you do your research. And initially I planned on learning how to string and just putting the whole head together myself. But my friend Jesse has been stringing my six for a couple years now and I figured I already messed this up bad enough. I'm just gonna let him take it over and string up the head himself. So that leaves me here and I'll show you guys what the stringing process looked like and how my friend Jesse strung it. So let's go. All right, so now it is a different day. I am here with Jesse James West who's been my professional stringer for how long? 2012 now. Since 2012. Wow, that's crazy. So for those out there, yes, I don't know how to string a stick. I mean, I technically could if I tried. I'm just lazy and he knows how to do it best. So uh, I'm just gonna have him do it. Yeah, he strings in like 10 minutes. He's gonna string up the blue head. Let's see it. 
and we might try out a new pattern. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but we'll just let the magician go to work. So let's get it. <laughs> Came out nice, dog. I want this now. Woo! Hell yeah, man, I'm pumped. Let's go shoot around. The bat first impressions it's pretty good man it's pretty good what can i say mesh is breaking in a little bit already um was stinging some corners with it felt really nice i didn't even have to adjust like anything except the bottom string so i think we got a pretty cool edit comment down below what you guys think about the edit go to my instagram check out an even cooler edit with a cooler song because copyright sucks and comment below if you would uh rock this setup make sure to follow me and jesse on instagram do it now <laughs> so there you have it. Jesse strung up my stick, shot around a little bit with it, and now I finally got it to the way I like it. And it's on a SCX shaft with a small butt end at the end. I don't really have any tape on it right now because I'm not really playing, so I don't really need it. But yeah, I think it's super clean the way it is. Even though I screwed up the dyeing process, ended up being a lot nicer than I thought. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you wanna see more videos like this, and if you want me to attempt to do this again, let me know. Maybe I will, because at this rate, I don't know how long quarantine's gonna last and figured I might give it another shot. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace.